What, what was sorority life like? Um, so we are part of the same sorority, mm -hmm. but different chapters. Shout out Katie Fi. Yeah, <laughs> Katie Fies. <laughs> Don't um, you guys have like a hand symbols where you guys please go, stop? Don't do that. I'm don't not do this right do now. <laughs> please don't do that right Actually, now. Actually, should I do it? That'd be <laughs> really funny. No, I will not. She's like a group of girls getting along doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> and I said, "What?" She goes, "Groups of girls, a large group of girls, and we all are sisters." <laughs> In old. Austin, there's Sixth Street, which is where all the college bars are, and it's super cheap. There's this one bar that did 25 cent wells on Sundays. <laughs> Like, how do you make money from that? That we, we found out we they were part of a drug ring. <laughs> oh my oh. god! So they were. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Damn. Lucky <laughs> Boys Podcast. Where we lived, it was super suburb. Well, that's the, a college oh, campus. I mean, right? yeah, it's it's a community. But we, but we a, didn't live. We didn't live in the student part of town. We live like in the in the white neighborhood part of town mm. in in Buffalo. We didn't go, live in the party area downtown. We lived in well, a we, nice. We, we we had people around. I mean, that yeah, it was it was the house party. It, <laughs> Our neighbors hated us. <laughs> we, we you guys had a little cul de sac going on. We did. Yeah, we. <laughs> oh, we you did. did. Oh, we yeah. had our own pool. We had our own. We turned our kitchen what? into a dining room into a bar, wow. a full scale bar. It was it was total. We built our Central. own uh, city. Wow, yeah. very yeah. nice. It was a huge house and. We, it was like three levels. Was it four levels? Wow. Three, three. three levels. Three, yeah. Yeah, and we just have parties and three people levels. were partying wow. all different levels. It was so, like, so the thing back in the day where, like, people hit up the clubs, the frat parties, yeah. the sorority parties and the clubs, mm -hmm. we would have our house parties. Mm -hmm. And we wouldn't charge people. We'd just like, hey, yeah, come yeah. in, chill, drink, beer pong, whatever, yeah. mingle, network. Yeah. Um, there, there were uh, other uh, organizations would come up to us like, yo, uh, you might not throw in your house party the same day we're throwing our party <laughs> oh, wow. because y'all had that y'all had a name for yourself. So I said, I said, and what we said to them, I said, like, look, we'll we will respect, you know, we ain't gonna throw the party the same night at a club party if you guys do it. Mm. However, we don't wanna but if it's a house party, like bro, you can't even come. If you can't if you have a club <laughs> and people prefer to go to my house that says something about your club like, party. Hey, you know, I, my house party ain't the problem. <laughs> I mean, you the know? free drinks kind of mattered, right? So. That's true. <laughs> that's, the club drink that's, prices were a little bit brawling. Man. To that's think true. of, I, as we were talking about this, and I just like think back to college club party days, especially <laughs> cringe a little. Yeah, because especially, you know, having been in a sorority, an Asian sorority in college and having to throw club parties for fundraisers or whatever it may be. Should we do that like, for Welcome to Chinatown? Oh. Should we do that for Welcome to Chinatown? No. You want to throw a club? <laughs> Wait, let's talk about post, sorority post life. What, what was sorority life like? Um, so we are part of the same sorority, mm -hmm. but different chapters. Shout out Katie Fi. Yeah, <laughs> Katie Fi's. <laughs> Don't um, you guys have like a hand symbol where you guys Please go, stop, don't do that. I'm don't do this do right now. <laughs> please don't do that right actually, now. Actually, should I do it? That'd be really funny. No, I will not do it. Um, for, I actually wonder if our sorority experiences were the same because we went to state schools. Mm. Yeah, because right. we were a little larger. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, so, so the state school experience was awesome, especially in Texas, Maryland, where people love the school spirit, the school culture. Um, tailgates, football games, the whole shebang. In Texas especially, there's a lot of old sororities who have these mansion houses yeah. and everything like that. Um, so it is. it kind of does fit that stereotypical mold that you think about. Wait, did you guys have the mansion house? No, we didn't. We were oh. an Asian sorority. We no. had no money. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was no funding no, for that. No, I figured Katie Fi is big. Katie yeah. Fi is big, but... Have, like, I don't know if you guys had any, uh, like, like, like uh, what's that? Um, legacies? Uh, what's that? Funding? Are you like alum, alum, alum chapters, alum, right? alum, Yeah, oh. where they're just like, hey, here's a bunch of money. Go get a mansion. <laughs> well, now that I'm an alum myself, you know. I don't want to be throwing money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get you a house. Uh, yeah. you know? We're still <laughs> practical <laughs> Asians at the end of the day. <laughs> um, so, I mean, yeah, like th there was a lot of house parties. A lot. Actually, a lot of house parties similar to the ones that you were describing. Right. Like yeah. a lot of house parties. Yeah. Those those were the more fun ones to go to. Yeah. 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 They were way, way better. But there were still parties. just the same amount of club parties as well yeah. for fundraising. In Ooh. Austin, there's Sixth Street, which is where all the college bars are and it's super cheap. There's this one bar that did 25 cent wells on Sundays. <laughs> Like, how do you make money from that? That we, we found out we they were part of a drug ring. <laughs> oh my oh. god! So they were. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Damn. 
<laughs> so they were washing money. You know, yeah. <laughs> With the yeah. 25 cents. That makes sense though. Yeah. Mm. But you could get, and then there was, you know, $2 Jaeger bombs at this other club that we used to go to called Latitude. So you really only just go for the drinks. And it, it when, uh, when I first started dating my husband at that time, he came to visit me and Austin. And so we went out with our friends and everything. And he just put like a hundred dollar bill on the bar counter. And then it was like shots for everyone. Oh, right. And he loved, he loved it so much. He bought out the bar with, uh, with a Benji. <laughs> with a Benji. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in New York, it's like four drinks. Yeah, you, you like got, and I, I remember, you know, I, this is actually when I first met Vic. Um, we were, I think, almost graduating or ha- just graduated and we went to hero do you guys remember here yeah, yeah yeah and on 23rd or 20 some, something yeah, yeah something yeah. like that mm-hmm. we went out for drinks and i got us a round of um i think like tequila shots and that was a hundred dollars <laughs> for yeah. four shots and oh that gosh. felt so painful because i'm so used to how cheap drinks are in in texas and um and that was such a different story I here wonder, i wonder why why is that why is like drinks cheaper cost of living man. I, I think know, I, yeah rent. i think it comes it's down to like the rent yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's a major city versus a minor city. yeah so mm. it's a, it's but but a, really yeah. but like outside the party and drinking though i will say that the, the, the at least for me the joining an asian interest sorority was like finding another yeah. part of my identity because uh yes. this is where jenna and i actually are differ a little bit because when i was growing up um my school was like 95 percent white that was mm-hmm. the actual statistic. And so I was friends with all white people really until I went to college. And so there was, and I definitely had a good time in high school and middle school. There wasn't like, I didn't feel like an outcast or anything like that. Um, but when I went to college and, and seeing kind of this Asian interest group, it was like, it clicked. Like, you know what I mean? Like there is something to be said about, about hanging out with people that look like you that have a kind of similar upbringing that understand all yeah. the Asian jokes that we make, you know? Yeah. Like there's, some, so like diversity and inclusiveness, I, I strive to do that at work as well and, and make sure we're achieving that because I, I do believe that even if you don't feel undervalued or anything like that, there is still something else you can find about a part of yourself when you're seeing someone hanging yeah. out with people that look like you. Yeah. And so for me, that was a big part of the college experience was really in kind of embracing that Asian side because I hadn't gotten a chance to do that in middle school and high school. You just made me look like I was the party person. <laughs> well, <laughs> when, so, so I didn't want to. And for anybody that knows me. So I when you had the school, the trips not. to to Texas, that's that's what happened. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> sorry, John. <laughs> no, but I, I, I realized we were digressing towards that, <laughs> that track. And I just but yeah, no, 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 no. Just, right. just a little right. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you were right. It, it, it is actually really funny that I am the person talking at the party. Like, I did not really do that much party. She's and trying to can, take it back now. <laughs> no, you can ask any of my friends. They can corroborate. But it's funny because through this whole Katie Fi network and, you know, in college, you only think so short term about the experience at that moment. You don't think about. That is so true. Right. Oh, my gosh. You don't yeah. think about what's going to happen in your life 10 years from now with your sorority. And like, that's how Hong Mai and I are connected. Yeah. That's how Vic and I met. We started Welcome to Chinatown our core volunteers from the beginning, we're all from our Greek network. Yeah. You know, that that is pretty incredible because yeah. none of us would have imagined yeah. that this organization would exist today. Um, and we, in a way, have to thank that experience and that, mm. that network. You both still talk to a lot of your sisters. Yeah. yeah. And you guys remain close. Yeah. I heard this saying, uh, I don't, and I'm not trying to be sexist or saying anything, mm-hmm. but they're yeah. like, um, back when I was coming up, this girl said to me in college uh, uh, when I was doing a fraternity. She goes, "Yeah, fraternities." I was like, "You should think about doing sorority too." And, you know, and then uh, she's like, "A group of girls getting along doesn't make sense to me." <laughs> and I said, "What?" She goes, "Groups of girls, a large group of girls, and we all are sisters." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, that's not to say that everyone had the same experience Jed and I had, right? Yeah. There are definitely people that probably tried it and realized it wasn't for them. I'm not yeah. close to everyone. Of like, Realistically, you just can't be close to everybody, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Um, but that being said, you know, out of my bridesmaids, like three for Katie Kafai's out of the, the six I had. And so I, it just depends on, on each person's experience. But I think for the whole part, there's definitely no regrets. And I think it's, it, it's nice because there's so many girls. If you actually look at the network of all Katie Fives and probably any other Asian sorority as well, you see people doing such cool things. Yeah. And you're almost kind of like inspired and being like, oh, like 
she has a similar like background as me and whatever and, and she's doing all this cool stuff and so you're almost kind of giving yourself more networks and more people to kind of inspire you and so i think that's the kind of one of the beauties i got from it yeah and yeah my my some of my best friends are girls i met through katie Fi, and you know we 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 know that we are going to experience the rest of our lives together um side by side and you know beyond the friendship too um i did also yeah i would i would say i learned a lot about just being a more confident speaker like yep. perfect like applicable practical skill sets that i used in my professional career um that i learned from katie five because you do have to do these kind of like uh, tasks that at that moment in time fundraising for example oh god no one likes fundraising <laughs> bane of our existence Ugh. during the, that that worst i remember story, right i remember yeah. those days no i like making money so i was fundraising i was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was treasurer successful.